Fridays! Welcome to Fun Fridays with Danny and Shani. I'm Shani. And I'm Danny. Let's, Let's have, have some fun. fun! If you're very new to this channel and you don't know what the heck we're doing, we argue about the dumbest things ever. Like that's all we argue. Like we argue about normal marriage stuff, but we also argue about the stupidest things. And so we decided to take it to social media and people really liked when we did our dumb arguments because they got to vote and agree and a little bit of that. And so that, and so now we're bringing them to my video channel of the videos of the channels. Very and so <laughs> I'm just trying to get through it fast because we always take too long. Okay, argument number one. When I want it. How do you pronounce this word? Okay, yes. <laughs> my handwriting sucks. C R A Y O N. How do you pronounce that? Okay, we should set up some guidelines for this one first. As I Because you know you're gonna lose. That's why. No, because I'm because people need to understand before they just go judging me. Okay, here you go. We live in Utah. Okay, it's country s kind of okay we say stuff differently all right just saying i live in utah too and i've lived here my whole life too just tell them how you pronounce it it's crown 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 now i can't even say it the way i normally say it danny says crayon it's crayon as in c-r-a-n that's crayon. that's what it is crayon. and his entire family says that too and it drives me insane i love you guys but it drives me nuts crayon 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 it is spelled crayon crayon crayons are made crayon. for are made for children and you're not going to expect a child to say mom can i have the crayons why? Because it's have one more crayon? syllable? Can I have the crayon? Kids what the heck is a crayon? Kids aren't able to do two syllable words? Is but, that what you're saying? Are you, are saying, you calling kids stupid? Are you saying crayon? Because that's crayon? the spray paint. It's out, in the, it's out in the shop. Have fun. No, it's a crayon. Mom, can I have the crayons? Done. Crayon. Crayon. It took me just as long to say crayon as it did for you to say it's crayon. It's not about time. It's Ready? about the understanding of the child. One, two, three. Crayon. Crayon. You have to say it with, no, say how you say it. So okay. I can prove to you that it takes just as long. I'm not arguing the speed of it as well, the that's understanding my argument. of the channel, of the, Ready? of the child. One, two, three. Are you really going to be like that today? We are arguing. You're on a roll. <laughs> I am on a roll, I know. Why you take your crayons and draw me a picture? I will. Pronunciation. Police. Okay, so vote below. Argument number two. Okay, this is this is this is an argument. This is a true argument right here. I have a feeling wow. this is one that everybody in the world will have an opinion on. When you go to restaurants and you're ordering to go, okay, like official restaurants, not like fast food stuff, like. Like Chili's, like car, Chili's. Sa car side to go or yeah, something like that. Yeah, like car like side that. to go, or you just go in for like a five minutes to pick up your bags and you leave, okay? Do you tip them for that? The answer is heck no. Yes, You're you doing do. all the work. They're still doing You're the work to put it together and to put it into the separate food cartons for you and put it together. That's the same thing as plating it in the kitchen and do bringing it to you. Do you tip the guy at McDonald's? No, because their food is already made. Oh, somebody put it in the bag. Somebody's putting it in a little box and giving it to you. Oh. That's a good point. But we're not talking about McDonald's. We're talking about a nice restaurant where they only pay them $4 right. an hour. A and nice restaurant where you're sucks. supposed to go to sit down, which we are not because we're taking it to go. It doesn't go. matter. It's still nice food. It's still good food. You tip people. You tip waitresses and stuff. For the, for the manner in which they wait on you. Do they keep your glass filled? Do they get your food out on time? Do they That's get your not order true. right? I yes, always tip what are you talking about? No matter what they're like. Because, you, you know what? The Maybe plate. they're having a bad day. Maybe that's why they're being all biatchy to don't you. Don't bring your bad day to work. I'm just saying that you never know. And I don't blame them for having a bad day because they only get paid $4 an hour. And it sucks that it's that way. It sucks that our tips are I'm part of their income but that's how it is and right. we need to be good human beings right. and sweet human beings and spread the love and share the love and blah, 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 blah. when i sit down at a restaurant and you know this i tip them very generously when i'm going to pick it up and taking it home for whatever reason sorry guys it, you're not you you put in a bag for me and i appreciate that and i'm leaving no they boxed it up they made it look nice they Just made it work like together McDonald's. you don't tip them it's fast food it's a fast food it's a fast food thing that they're doing now to make okay. more money. Well, then I just for the I just feel like 
Above all, it's out of the kindness of my heart that I always tip the people because I'm so kind and perfect. Tip me when I make a dinner. I'll tip you if you want. What kind of tip do you want? A finger is not a tip. Like. Okay, so vote below. Do you tip the to-go waitresses or not? Okay, argument number three. Mm. This is an argument, another argument that the whole world argues about all the time, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So I'm excited about it. Okay. When you put the toilet paper on the roll, do you put the, the part where the paper comes down in the front or in the back? I put it over. It's supposed to go over and you put it under. Why do you put it under? Why do you think that makes any sense? I will, I will let you, I, can I, can I speak? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You sure? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. No, you go first this time. Go for it. You go, because you don't even have a good argument. That's why you don't want to Oh, go. I do have a good argument. If it goes under, then all the toilet paper is rubbing against the wall that it's against, and who knows what bacteria is on there, and, th and then you end up getting a yeast infection, or in your case, a yeast infection. Do boys get yeast infection? You don't even wipe. Okay, you would get like the bum what? infection. What? What? what do boys get down there? Nothing. Not ever, because here's the key, well, here's my argument. Well, anybody could get infected down there. If, if it rubs against the wall, and who knows what's on the wall, and then you rub that down there, Yeah. you could get chlamydia or something. But, all right, here's the- Let's hear your argument. Okay. I would love you to hear You put it this. under, okay? You put it under, and this is why. There's several reasons, actually. First off, um, so that when like the kids or the cats come in, they don't just roll the dang thing out because it's something to play with. We don't have any cats or kids. If we had cats or kids. <laughs> but we don't. All right, so number two. <laughs> two, two. You're losing already. Number Go two. Go ahead, try again. Um, you put it under because if you put it over and you and you pull, it's just gonna keep going because of gravity, it's, it, you, as you pull down the loop, it just gonna keep rolling and you have to stop it, it's, it's stupid. If, if you pull under it, it doesn't have that opportunity to do it. Number three, before you start overthinking that one, number three, to, dis, to debunk all of your, all of your, debunk? might be on the, wor what on the wall. What does debunk mean? Number one, Is that a word? it what does doesn't, that mean? to debunk your, your argument, to make it not. Is that a word? Yeah, come on people, debunk. Look it up, look it up right now. I believe you. Um, so to debunk your stuff, uh, you're wiping your butt with it, okay? Who cares what's on the wall? And your butt can get infected! How do you even get it on the wall? It's away from the wall. It's not far enough, not at first. Not when the roll is big enough. Germs don't jump that far. They don't have to jump because the toilet paper rubs right against it it's, when it's... It, you're wiping your butt. And where you can get infected. You're... Or wiping also it's more convenient crap off of your butt who cares what because you might be wiping something from the wall how the heck like did something get on poop. the uh, and because the mouse is just gonna poop right there oh, there okay, it is mice could poop on the floor and then the fumes from the poop could go up and stick to the wooden wall they could do that anywhere that was bull crap but seriously big time something could happen flies could land there and flies poop when they land and do you know how much bacteria is in fly poop? Flies land anywhere. But exactly, and they can land on the wall. They wouldn't land on air in between the all toilet right, paper right, roll right, and the toilet. Right. Under, over. Both below. Just be smart. Argument me... number one. <coughs> Argument number two. Oh. Argument number three. We will see you next week for another fun Friday with Danny and Shani. And please watch my channel every Tuesday and Wednesday for my Subscribe, topic Tuesdays about my eating disorders up. and weekly Wednesday update about my eating disorder and where I am and how I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. And then, um, d and then we love you and stuff. And um, that's all. Have a good day. If you have any dumb arguments for us to argue, please put it in the comment section below so that we can argue it I in our seen next any, guys. dumb argument video. That's all. Okay, thank you for watching. We love you. Bye. See ya.